an entire forest composed of degraded, contaminated land. A river kilometers long dyed orange. These are the scars of North America's long mining history. And as our industry continued to move into our pristine Canadian North, what will happen to the land that's just left behind? It's somewhat of a murky picture. For our mines in Canada, two thirds of the rock that we take from the ground will just simply become waste. And this waste rock is simply left at the surface of the mine in large piles. If these piles are left unchecked, they can release huge amounts of acidity and heavy metals to the surrounding environment. It's common now for Canadian companies to put a soil cover on top of these piles, kind of like a thick sponge to absorb water, rainwater, that would otherwise react with the waste material and discharge that waste to the surrounding environment. Good afternoon, my name is Rob, and I'm a PhD student in geology, which means I love to play in the dirt. But not so much in contaminated dirt, which is why my project revolves around creating a measurement tool to measure the effectiveness of these soil covers in preventing rainwater from reaching the waste material. The problem with the measurement tools that we have now is that they're really made for the agricultural sector, for, for farmers. And agricultural soil is a lot softer and more forgiving and less toxic compared to a proper mine waste pile. So my measurement tool has to be stronger and more resilient. And my measurement tool of choice comes from an unlikely source, light and optics. I am fascinated with fiber optic cables. These cables are like regular telephone cables, but transmits information in the form of light instead of electricity. We installed these fiber optic cables at a mine in eastern Quebec to see how their cover prevents rainwater from reaching their mine waste. The light in the fiber optic cable will change energy depending on the temperature of the soil. But think of it more like running outside in March with your sweater on. You'll probably not feel as energetic if your sweater was wet. In a way, the light in the fiber optic cable will react the same in cold, wet soil. So we can measure how effective the cover is by looking at how this light reacts in that soil sweater or in that waste rock sweater, where we hope to see all of that cold, wet water remain on top and the waste rock below to remain warm and dry. And we do this because mines have allowed us to benefit from the materials that we use to make bicycles, from the materials that we use to make solar panels and wind turbines, and even in the ingredients we put in our dog and cat food. With my fiber optic technology, we can supplement these mining practices with actual steps in storing and monitoring the waste that we do not use. So our generation of geologists can play in uncontaminated and clean dirt. Thank you.